you really got to have a good due diligence checklist when you buy land because most of the people that are most of the wholesalers that are selling land and people they're not giving you that information you have to go and do all your own research what's your thought what's your advice to people that are wanting to build houses most people aren't building the number of homes that you are um in a in a in a year but you know there's a lot of people out there doing one or two or you know even five or less let's put it that way what what's your advice i mean what kind of direction would you give them with all the things that are going on around you right now well don't do it just sell me your lots yeah <laughs> No, I'm kidding. You heard um, it here, folks. Give them to Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, first of all, um, don't try and do it yourself. If you, you know, even even people who are just getting their GC licenses or whatever, you've got to right now, you've really got to have established relationships with uh, material suppliers and subs to get a job done at a reasonable cost. So find a good builder, hire a good builder. They'll probably cost you as much as it would to build it yourself and then they'll take all of the headache off of you know your plate so that's that's one piece of advice um secondly and the thing i see uh, happens a lot with people is they start looking at land and they don't know what they're looking at they they, mm -hmm. they don't know what the pitfalls are they don't you know they might buy a piece of land and then they call the city and say hey i want to you know i want to buy my taps i want to buy my water and sewer taps and they go oh well we don't have capacity on that street or we don't have sewer on that street. You really got to know, you really got to have a good due diligence checklist when you buy land because most of the people that are most of the wholesalers that are selling land and people, they're not giving you that information. You have to go and do all your own research. So there's, right. a, there's a lot of risk um, buying land that is basically unbuildable. Okay, so hold on a second. I want to make sure I understand what you're saying somebody could buy a piece of lot have called the the zoning department make sure the zoning's all cool and everything yep close on the land and then when they go to get the taps they can't do anything about it yep yeah wow. or they, they got to put a septic system in and uh, you see this a lot in uh, gaston county where there's uh areas that have no sewer um and they have these little lots and the little lots just aren't big enough they were big enough when those lots were deeded because you didn't have to have a replacement septic area right now the um the way that the rules are written is you have to have a lot that's big enough to not only build a septic system but also build a second septic uh field so you know a little a little tenth of an acre or fifteenth of an acre lot is just not you, you can't build on it anymore so this wow. is all those things that you have to know uh, otherwise you can get yourself in trouble. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, Bill and I just bought uh, a big parcel from you. I th think you probably didn't even know, did you? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. We can't get taps by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bill. That's why we didn't want it. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, up, up near um, the other side of Statesville and Stony Point. So we, we've got a couple mobile homes that we also bought from you last year that we're putting Your on memory there. said that was a pain so <laughs> he's shifting the pain to other places now yeah no that's cool what see, what i love about what what our what we're doing in our business is even if it's something that's outside of our buy box if we can figure out a way to create value for somebody else we'll we'll take it down yeah um you know we were buying those wholesale uh mobile homes and we had i don't know three or four of them sitting a lot and we just decided you know, we're not going to do that anymore and the next thing you know, you guys are picking them up and you probably got them for a lot cheaper than if you bought it off the. Oh off yeah. The no, doubt. no doubt. And we made a little money. You saved a little money. It's a win-win.